All right, guys, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, you know, this week has been kind of highlighting coaches that are putting out materials for other coaches. Yeah, I'm a big believer. Obviously, I put out material for coaches, but I'm also a huge fan of other guys that are willing to go above and beyond, you know, to help our community uh, to put out stuff. And I'm probably with the guy that I think most people think of first when they think of a coach who puts out materials. Who I just, it seems like he's everywhere. Um, you know, everywhere I turn, this guy's there and he's talking to some guy. Before we know what he's going to have the president on, you know, pretty soon. He just seems to get the <laughs> out of nowhere. So, but it was a great job. I wanted to have him on for, he gave gracious with his time to give us a little bit of time to kind of put this together. Um, for those of you who may not know you, Bron, why don't you kind of talk a little bit about your background and, you know, stuff they may not know about you. All right. Well, uh, first, thank you so much for having me. This is, this is awesome. I don't, I don't get a lot of chances to actually be on the other end a lot. And, and I enjoy, you know, everyone likes talking about themselves. Uh, I'm coach Ron Mackey. I, uh, I coach in South Carolina. I'm at Batesburg Leesville. Now I've been at a small school Crestwood and I actually started off my coaching career at the same high school that I played at. Um, I've been a part of football my entire life. I played linebacker, which is crazy. I've been on the defensive side most of the time, but I am an offensive coordinator now. I like to spread the ball and throw it, but I am more about being simple. And that's that's where we kind of connect. You're you're the shotgun wing T. I'm like a spread it out throw, but we both share that passion for simplifying things. Um, I have a YouTube channel where it just started out this is the craziest thing uh, somewhere up there i have a gopro and my wife got me a gopro for my birthday because i wanted the bootleg vr for my quarterback so i could see if he was looking at the same place and i just had my first uh kid aria love her to death put her down i was keyed up because i don't know how it is with you and your your kids but they would fight she would fight me and i would get frustrated and fight and when i put it down i was i was geeked up i was like i can't go to sleep well, I came upstairs, I put my my uh, GoPro on, and I was like, you know what, uh, we're doing this really cool play, the one back power RPO. I was like, I'm just going to draw it up, just put it out there on YouTube to see what what works. Next thing I know, that just took off. People liked it. Uh, and they're like, hey, what else do you do? I'm like, oh, crap. So that slowly dove into, I'm just going to start putting out stuff that led me to uh, talking to a lot of cool coaches, yourself, I've talked to Nick, uh, Sean, and then that just kind of spiraled into Hal, Noel, June Jones, Kurt Warner, Wade Phillips, and the whole time I'm like, what the hell? This is amazing. If you would have told me six years ago that I would be doing this, I'd say you're full of crap. And that's essentially it. I got a YouTube channel, got an email list. I love to talk football. I'll talk football all day, every day with anybody. So... Yeah, no, nah, man. I, and, and of course, you know, I <laughs> relate to that. And I, a lot of coaches will ask because you're an active coach. You know, I've had some guys on here that are out of coaching now or kind of step back from coaching. But I think you're kind of a guy who's in the middle of it, just like me. Yeah. And they ask on, uh, 11 years. I'm going on 11 years coaching. Sweet. Three Sweet. as a linebacker, three. And no, three as a linebacker, two as a running backs coach, and then six as an offensive coordinator. Good. And I, and I think that's, I think to me, those are the guys I want to get stuff from that are, you know, you're out there on a Friday night, you're seeing, oh crap, you know, here's some problems that I didn't think about with this. And, and I think that's, you mentioned it, you and I both share the simple and I hope genuine. And I get that from you. And I hope I convey that as well as, you know, I, I really appreciate hearing you talk. And I know a lot of guys that have been on your channel before understand, hey, we're just learning together. I think that seems to be kind of a slogan. I don't know if you've called it a slogan or not, but it seems to kind of be. Yeah, I, I tell everybody, and I've told you when you've come on, I'm really selfish in that I'm using it to pick the brains of smarter people than me. If other coaches want to come and be a part of that, fantastic. But every coach that I that I have talked to, everybody, I have, I've come away with something like, oh, that's really good. I want to, it's like a mini clinic for myself that somehow I, I get other coaches in. And that's that's what the beautiful thing. I like it. When the coaches come on, they're willing to share with people commenting. Like you, you know, we're sitting here talking and all of a sudden I'm, I'm watching chat and then a question pops up and we can 
talk about it in real time. And that is something that's usually missed from all of the other podcasts that you listen to because you don't get to ask those questions. Whereas when I'm doing it, I call it the showcast. Shout out to Heath in Australia. I was like, what should I call this? He's like, you should call it a showcast. And uh, when you come on, you get to ask questions and then we can show it. It's, it's, it's an interactive clinic that I learned from coaches across the country. Cause I don't, I'm not the only one that has uh, ideas. My ideas aren't, aren't great. I mean, they are, but <laughs> I'm saying I don't have a, a, a thing on ideas like you and with your buck sweep that we did got me thinking, holy crap, that's really good. And all your little intricate things that you do with it, how you can read a down lineman, how you can read a linebacker, a secondary, your pot shots. I don't, that's not my world. But when you come on and we talk about that, I'm like, oh, that's really good stuff. Same thing with Roger Holmes and his 2,742 plays that he has installed and blocking schemes. And I'm just like, oh my God, that is incredible. When he can say, I can just do this and we have a new play. I'm like, that's, that's amazing. And it, having this platform allows me to talk to some really cool guys, man. And it, I freaking love it. And it's because of coaches like yourself and other coaches that are like, come and just listen to my ugly ass, talk football <laughs> and, and have a ball, man. Yeah, no, that's what I'm kind of leading towards some of those questions. I, mean, I know you've had multiple guys on there, but to me, you know, you were ahead of where everyone COVID forced everyone to go. Like everyone kind of went where you already were kind of the king of that space already. But what have you seen? And it doesn't have to be just last year, but in the last five, six, seven, eight, 10, 15 years you've been around of how coaches are getting information now. Uh, it, it, it is a lot of online stuff. And I'm not the, I have to get, I tip my hat every single time someone talks, Joe Daniel. Joe Daniels, the flipping man, I reached out to him. He talked to me. He was like, yeah, do it because he's the, the same thing we are. Get the information out there. Let the, because we grew up, we came up where if I wanted to know something about the wing tee, first off, I needed to know about a wing tee coach somewhere. And then I'd have to reach out to them and physically drive to their place and stay in a hotel and know the questions to ask and all that. It went and I don't even know the questions because I don't know anything about the wing tee. Where now we can go online, we can kind of have like a little baseline of stuff. And then if I want to reach out to you and be like, hey, Kenny, um, I know a little bit about the buck sweep. How do you do this? And that allows the questions to get a little bit deeper so that now you, instead of feeling obligated to give me the history of the buck sweep, you know, oh, okay, this coach knows a little bit. Now we're kind of getting the finer details. Mm -hmm. And I find that with... YouTube and podcast and all that, we're able to get that stuff a lot better. I, there's a lot of smart coaches now. And I promise you, it was like 10 years ago when I first started, there, there weren't. And the reason why is because we got guys like you, guys like me, Coach A, Vass on the defensive side, just pumping out stuff. And it's like, holy crap. If, if you don't know your stuff, it's not because there's not stuff out there. It's because you're too lazy to go find it. I mean, you can, if you want to, and I, <laughs> I, I, I kind of took a, a, a jab at those Nick Saban, four, two, five type D because they're so in depth. But I mean, if that's your cup of tea, you can go to Vass and he will get, he will baptize you into that whole world. And you're like, oh, okay, I, I can get this. I can, I can run this stuff. Same thing with the wing T and you, you can go there. Same thing with the spread for me or the air raid. I just love that the information's out there. And now it's, we're taking it and putting it back on the coaches. Like, Hey, if you want to get better, great. You've got to find it because there is no excuse now for you not to know anything about football. Yeah, absolutely. And I, to me, it's new, you know, so to me, I've kind of stumbled into this. It's been, right out of year, you know, but when I started kind of, all right, I'm going to research and talk to some guys. It's been great. The community, you know, I've, obviously we've talked here on air and off air. Uh, I've actually reached out to Voss I'm a little scared of him because he's kind of mean. Oh, he, hey, he, his, his hero, and he'll tell you this is Howard Stern. That's his hero. And you, it, you can kind of get that a little bit, how it is it. I, but he will, he will go the extra mile to help you out, man. He's a great guy. He is. Well, and those guys have always been so good to help. That's what I wanted this week to be about was these are coaches that are putting things out there. 
you know, that are trying just to help. And then if you, if, if that can benefit the coaches that are listening, that's awesome. Okay. I've got a couple more here coming for you, coach. And we can right. go the direction you want to go with these. You know, you had a lot of kind of pretty heavy hitters coming on who surprised you. So I'm not going to go with the easy one. Like who was the, the, the like, Oh, I couldn't believe he came on. Who is the guy you kind of got on and were like, eh. and then when he was on, you went, Whoa, like this guy's way better than I thought he was going to be. Honestly, uh, all of them were like, I, every coach I reach out to, there is something I want to learn from them. It's not like, Hey, I'm just going to call this, this slappy up here just because you do it. It's like, no, I, I research. I got, I, I, I'm probably every football coach's biggest stalker because I, I will dive into your social media, into your, your film, you know, max preps, all that. Cause you have something or I, I came across something that was like, Oh, that, that is really good. I want to know more about it. And then it just, it just happened. It came about, I'll reach, I always shoot my shot. Now the one that I really enjoyed uh, recently, and this is not a knock on anybody. I actually got the faster than the uh, fast or faster than the fly guy on yeah, yeah. coach uh, Herbert. And I've been looking to get him on for about three or four months. We just could never connect. And I don't think he's very big on social media. That's why, because he's, he's sitting out there winning state championships in Colorado and everything like that. But when he got on and he was just breaking down the offense and how it looked complex, but it really was only like four or five plays. I was like, oh my goodness. And he's the reason why I went down a rabbit hole this season, this off season on the rocket, the jet, the mm -hmm. plays off of that, because I'm at a smaller school now. And here, here's the thing, like my whole thing now is kind of taken to just simplicity. Like, yes, I like to throw the ball and stuff like that, but every off season, I'll always go back to the wing tee because I like the if then structure. And you can always read it, and I like how we get that. And this, the playoffs, the last two games, we my we had three All State offensive players in a very small school. Two of them, one of them got injured, blew his knee out in the very first series. So that and he was our wide receiver. So now we had to move our second, our our running back who was All State to a wide receiver. Now we didn't have a running back. So now the teams are like, okay they're not going to be able to run the ball. We're just going to bring it. Then he gets kicked out for the playoff game. So now I just, I have no threats. And it was, we got our tail whooped. And those were one of those games. One of a coach, uh, shout out, uh, Coach Gambrell said, that those kind of games where you get destroyed, those are program shifts. Either, you know, you can take it and we're going to go a new direction on something or a coach can take it and go, okay, I need to do something because I never want to be put in that spot again. And that's what I was doing. And then I found him with the sweep and then I just went all down. I mean, I am amazed at how the rocket and the jet, like that's a deep dive and the different things you can do for it. And I never would have gotten that if I wasn't lucky enough to have this platform and to reach out and get coaches on. And that's the one that was like, oh, my God, that's that's amazing. Like the chest pass, the two handed chest pass. You're really mixing like basketball, you with basketball, him with basketball. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, my goodness, it's it, we're eventually going to play basketball on grass. It really is. Yeah, I think so. I think you're seeing the shift. I think that you talk about simplicity. And to me, I'm kind of going down a rabbit hole here. I'll try to get us back on track here. But the idea of concepts is now the rage. And I think it should be the rage, you know, teaching route concepts. If you spread guys, and I'm saying you, so don't get offended here, but y'all say, well, all we run is three routes, but there's 17 different variables off how he's going to break that route because you're teaching a concept where you talk about Roger got on. Well, in my opinion, Roger doesn't have 9,000 plays. He has like seven plays and he tags everything to make it look like not, you know, it's, so it's just the way we talk with each other. I think has been really cool. And a lot of your guests I've noticed, even whether they're a spread guy, a rocket guy, Roger Holmes guy, we may have different language, but we're coming to the same. We're all talking about the same thing. Right. You know, and it, it, Yeah, you're absolutely right. And it's crazy because guys that throw the ball, they have tags in the passing game and they're very simple in the run game. On the flip side, guys that run the ball a lot, they have a lot of tags in the run game and they're very simple in the pass game. But it's still the same thing. 
And that's, that's something I think a lot of coaches, especially now with, with everybody, it's, it's almost social media has now like pitted football coaches against each other. Yes. And it's, it's kind of similar to like politics. It's like, guys, we're kind of fighting about the same thing. Like it's, it's the same thing right there, but run oriented schemes, you can still get the ball to a bunch of people in space. You're just now calling and telling it passing. You're trying to do that, but you're putting it all on the, the quarterback to do that, but it's still the same concept. Let's get our dudes the ball and let them be dudes because, and hopefully our dudes are better than your dudes. That's, that's right. all it is. Right. No, I, I, that's, that's been cool to me. And that's one of the things I think you're kind of leading where I was wanting to go to. One of the harder parts of this job, you know, to me has been sometimes um, watching coaches and I don't get involved in it. I, I know you don't either, but it's been hard to watch sometimes coaches tear down other coaches you know, I don't know if you've come across that or not. I don't care if they do it to me. I, you know, I get that every Friday night from everybody. I know, me. I know. I'm fine with that, you know, but it's it's been tough to watch on the social media platform. I was going to know if you've seen that or felt was probably the hardest part of being, you know, because to, to me, you're kind of, you're out there in social media. You're out there on YouTube. You're You're out there. And so what's one of the harder things you've had to kind of deal with? Well, I, I will say a couple of things. One, you're absolutely right. They they destroy one another. It's the funniest thing, man. When you you hear them on Fridays, the coaches, you know, telling the fans, essentially telling the fans, shut up, I'm a coach, you know, let's be respectful and everything like that. I don't need to hear you coaching from the stands. And then when you check on those same coaches Saturday or Sunday, they're doing the same thing about the college games or the NFL games. It's like, come on, my guys, don't, don't be a hypocrite. And that's, you can say a lot of things about me. I'm ugly. I'm bald. You know, I, I, I don't know what I'm talking about, but there's two things you can tell, say I'm never a hypocrite and I'm always truthful because I think, especially if you're going to put yourself out there, you've got to be open and transparent. All right. So that's the first thing I, and I get a lot, I write a lot of emails. It's kind of my thing. I love emails and I get a lot of hate coming back from the emails from what I'm right. And when that happens, and it's the same thing I talk about to my kids Side point, I don't, I don't really understand. I'm going I'm to tie this in with cyberbullying. Because to me, growing up, like, I used to get bullied. I used to. I used to be short and fat. Uh, I had really bad breath growing up because I, I had tonsil stones and stuff like that. So I would get, I'd get picked on all the time. And that's one thing, getting bullied. But cyberbullying, if someone's just calling you out or something like that, you've, we've got this amazing feature called the block button. You can just hit block, and then you don't have to worry about them at all. And it's, and I have gotten trolls. I have gotten emails. I have gotten uh, people coming at me and that's just the price you pay when you put yourself out there in, if you don't have haters, you're doing something wrong. So when they do come out at me, I just go, okay, uh, a block, because I don't know you. I, I don't care. I'm just putting this out there because I'm having a blast. I don't know when this, this, this journey is going to end. But I'm going to ride it out because I love talking to coaches. I love helping coaches. And we also have to keep in mind for every one negative message you get, you get like 25 other coaches like, hey, man, you really helped me simplify my offense. Uh, we're scoring a lot of points. or The kids are having fun. Or, hey, thank you so much for having that other coach on. Uh, I really liked his stuff. And you put me on it. That's just talking to me. And I like that. I like being able to go. And I'm not one of these coaches. We all, we, we both know, like, hey, I can run everything. I can run the air raid. I can run the wing tee. I can run the spread. I can run the flex bone. I've got all this stuff here. No, when someone comes to me and they ask me a question, and I'm going to use you as an example. Hey, coach, how do you run the buck sweep against this front? I'm like, oh, that is not my wheelhouse. But I can tell you who it is. It's Kenny. Here's his stuff. Go do it. Or, hey, coach, I want to run the the four two five really simple version of it. Help me out. I'm like, I can't. I don't know it that well. But Joe Daniel is really good at that stuff. You need to go get that. And that's one of the cool things is now I feel as if I kind of, since I've been in this so long, I can point it to guys that I know stuff is good, that know their stuff, and and can send them that way. Because I, nothing's worse than you just waste so much time and invest so much, like your money or anything like that, into something because you think that person knows it. And when you come to find out, they're full of crap. And I'm not talking about football. I'm just talking about in general. Like, how many times have we bought a gadget we saw on TV that looked amazing? 
And then we get it home and it breaks with like two minutes. You're like, what in the world? And that's the beautiful thing about Amazon now is they have the reviews. And it's the same thing here. I just really enjoy putting myself out there. And if people don't like it, that's fine. I'm not going, not everybody's going to like me. I'm not a very likable guy to a lot of people. I can be crude sometimes. I am a little rough around the edges. I totally get that. If you read my emails, I write about my cats, dingleberries, and I somehow tie that into football. So that's just who I am. And if they don't like it, I don't lose sleep over it. I just go about my day because there's a lot of other, there's a lot more positives than there are negatives. Yeah. And that's what I was going to come back to. I, I think both of us, you get just like coaching, you get a lot of negative, yeah. but a lot yeah. of positive. The coaching world has been, I've been shockingly surprised how receptive. And it sounds like you have too with how it's, for the most part, we, we tend to support each other, you know, uh, most of the time. And, uh, and let's, let's be honest. We, we get a lot worse on Friday nights from the fans. Oh yeah. Yeah. I and, mean, and some, <laughs> some is earned, you know, some of it's earned, you know, but a lot of it's like, come on, man. Um, do you really think I'm doing my worst? And I blame ESPN. You know, there, there, there's no lawyer SPN or doctor SPN where they're sitting there and be like, what kind of objection was that? Or why are you using that kind of scalpel and not the other one? But everyone watches ESPN, listens to Skip Bayless and everything. And now they think they're a coach. Yeah. And that even improves coaches. Like, again, like I said, on Saturday and Sundays, all you got to do is just scroll through Twitter and you see a bunch of high school coaches ripping college and NFL coaches. And then they turn around on Friday night and be like, parents, y'all are nuts. You need to stop yelling at the coaches. And it's like, okay, do as I say, not as I do. I mean. Right. Yeah. No, it's a, it's an unfortunate part, I think. of, And I think social media, there's a ton of good. Yeah. That area, not so good. No, not at all. And I'm with you. I just hit block usually. but That's, that's it. Block or mute. Yeah. Well, I've got a couple more questions for you, Coach. I don't want to keep you up. All night. I know that it's probably your time of the day, so you may be good to go for a yeah, while. Hey, I got my coffee. I'm I'm good to go until uh, my son comes running up here like he did last night. <laughs> nice, nice. No, uh, I was going to say, uh, you know, you've got your YouTube channel. I'm sure you've got other things. I know I've been on the showcast with you. You know, where are you kind of heading with this? You know, what are your hopeful future plans or things that you're hoping to kind of get done, maybe this off season or even next year? Uh, honestly, man, I have no idea. I, I really enjoy helping get other coaches some notoriety like you and me we ran that mini workshop with the buck sweep that was a freaking blast we had like 60 coaches on there and it was a rig i think that's the way to go and because now we can sit there you can watch it again i i, I enjoy clinics i do but I, my hand gets cramped up i don't have a replay and I've got to determine whether am I just going to write everything down or I'm going to pay attention and hopefully I can remember it. With the, the mini workshops, I can ask my questions. I don't have to take notes because I get a replay. And we do that. So I, I enjoy doing those. And then I, I just like interviewing, doing live streams and talking about football because there's a lot more. There's a lot of people smarter than me out there. So I'm always trying to learn. The day you determine you know everything is the day you should just retire, hang up the whistle. And so I'm kind of diving into Jets and Rockets and then the defensive stuff because you got to keep on those guys because they're super smart. And I want to know what they're working on in the offseason. So if I do face it, I can kind of have a counter and know what I'm looking at. So that's usually what I look at in the offseason defense and then going back to wing T stuff because of the if then and trying to apply the if then to my stuff. Yeah, no, I, the if then is my favorite part of the wing T, you know, and it's, it's by far the reason I went to it. Um, last thing I've got, coach. So if I'm on your email list I, and I actually enjoy you know, most of your emails, and if I don't, I can just hit delete. Exactly. You know? That's it. For the most part, I enjoy them. But if a coach is listening to this, and how do I get on that? How do they do that? That's a very good question. Uh, you can go, you can go to thefootballsecrets.com and that's it right there. You can find stuff. I got courses. I got uh, articles. You can find everything that is there or just follow me on YouTube, Facebook, anywhere. Uh, it's, it's somewhere. That's very bad that I don't have like a link. I mean, you lobbed that up there for me and I could have. Nice. And I, yeah. I totally but, pissed the bed on that one. Well, and I know you also have one thing up. Uh, you know, I'm in your Facebook group and man, it's, it's pretty good. It's, I've really have enjoyed it. And, you know, and that's, it's a football. 
secrets is that the name of the facebook group football right? coaching secrets yeah and um we we had this like i'm the i'm the moderator it's if you go into other football coaches uh and I, I'm, I'm shitting on them. Uh, it's just other guys posting their stuff. There's no conversation, no nothing. And I don't like that. There, I don't even self-promote my stuff if I have anything. I, it, it is a place where you can come in, you can have football discussions about anything. We got youth all the way to college in there. We're helping each other out. It's kind of like Coach Huey a little bit, but not that many threads. But it, I, I freaking love it, man. I, those coaches, I've made some. I've made some connections in there that, that we're now friends. Like I'm texting them, asking them stuff. So just, I promise you. And if there's, we've gotten a good group of guys that are the coaches that if they see something, they they know the rules. Like if it's anybody throwing politics or anything like that, they just auto moderate it. I get shot at, and I'm just like, up, oh, it's done. And it, it gets rid of it. And I bring down the band hammer, man. I promise you, I, I do. So if you want to talk just straight up football, that's that's probably the best place to go. Yeah, it's really good. I mean, just from experience, I'm in that group. And, Thank you. And I've been one of those that put a little YouTube link. That was out in about two seconds. So I don't even promote my stuff. Like, no, at I'm all. fine. I, I like it. I kind of, it's a pure group. So if yeah. you're looking for something, and then, of course, on Twitter. But, you know, guys, if you have not already, I, if you don't know who Ron Mackey is, you really have not been on YouTube ever because you, he's going to pop up pretty quick. But he's got a lot of other platforms and, and definitely a guy that I know, um, you know, there's a lot of guys I go to with questions about not just football, but questions just about the other aspects of what we do. And Ron's a guy that has been so gracious to help me and a lot of other guys along the way. So feel free to reach out to him if you uh, have a little bit of time. And so, Coach, last comments here, anything you want to say to – I'm sure the dozens of my people that are probably watching this on YouTube. The millions and millions of uh, your fans. No, thanks for having me on, man. This was a blast. I can, I, I love talking, as you can tell, especially after I have coffee. So if I'm a little amped up, I apologize. And uh, anytime, man, I, you come on to my show, I come on to yours. I, I enjoy it. And I, I, hey, I don't comment because usually when you go, especially since you've been going live, I've been at school, so I can't do it. But I do watch your lives on the, on the, uh, the wing T group that I'm, you I'm have. trying to learn from you. I'm going it's, once it's a week and I like it. looks like the Blair witch project a little bit. Cause I ain't figured out all the audio stuff. Hey, it's fine, man. It's fine. It's good. I, I like I like the old school. You turn the phone around and you're drawing it. That's free. And I'm not being a smart ass. I really oh. like that. I really like it. It's very good. Keep doing it, man. Well, that's my hope. That's my hope. I appreciate it, Ron. I appreciate having you come on, man.